two things. Uh, one challenge for us is that we're technically regulated as a munition um, or a rocket, even though we produce enough thrust with one thruster chip to hold up a, a mosquito. Um, so not anything very dangerous, um, but because we're regulated as a, we're on the U.S. munitions list, we actually can't sell to other countries um, without export licenses that turn out to be very, like almost nearly impossible to get um, for some countries. So that's been a big challenge for a startup to try to tackle. We can't use um, normal email servers, we can't use Dropbox, um, we can't let non-U.S. persons into our labs, so that, that's been challenging. Someone overgeneralized us as a rocket uh, at some point in the classification and it hadn't been an issue until now you have all these startups popping up that don't really have the resources to deal with it. So, um, Actually there's a new rule being drafted that's supposed to come out any day now that moves us off of the munitions list uh, and onto a much uh, tamer uh, regulation and so we're looking forward to that. We started out with the assumption that a space startup could only really sell to other space startups when we were first, uh, when our product was first out the door because it lacks the flight heritage and all of the reliability data that folks like um, Lockheed and Boeing and NASA would need to see. But uh, in reality, we've actually found it to be the complete opposite and the bigger aerospace companies have uh, internal R&D budgets that will evaporate if they don't spend them. So they've actually been our first customers and have been kind of eager to buy our very, you know, beta products. But um, yeah, so that was an assumption we had going in that turned out to be completely 